Carter Dawson. will Carter. probably go with you. Right. Or I believe Dawson went just went to change. Should we go tell Sanchez the best news? Yes. Sanchez. Sanchez. We as a group have decided you are a PICO medic. Enjoy. I think that went in one ear and out the other. Yeah, well, he's got a stethoscope on already. Mm hmm. Yeah, he has a stethoscope on, so, you know. Let's just sit here, cross our arms at him until he answers. Yeah, exactly. I bet you he's talking to his voices in his head. Or he's just being stupid. Manchester Earth. Hello. There we go. See, that worked. Hi, Hi Sanchez. So, so we all. Uh, he's all surrounding me for. Because we, we made we a vote. So we we uh, made we've a vote. had a vote, and you are put on medic as PIC today. Enjoy. Wow. Come on. <laughs> wow. Copy that. Look, it was a group decision. Hey, look, yep. we got we got, you got a partner. Uh, UHC. You got a partner, at least you're not alone. And you got okay. UHC, so if you yep. don't want to go, just go bother UHC with it. Did you call yourself, everybody 42 Davis or just yourself? Damn, 248, What? Did you call everybody or just yourself? Everybody copy. No, I, I, oh, I, God. I, ew, that's my fucking brother. Ew. Ew? Firetech 54 to Fire Radio. 54. 54 you can show Firetech 54 and Firefighter 51 operational on ladder 1. Copy, I'll set you guys to move. Twenty-eight Fire Radio, you can touch me to engine 5, please. If you could show 28 on engine 5. Now just the medics have to call up the drone medic. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't give me that look. That's what happens when you're late. Yeah, just just don't be late next time, and you'll be fine. Or be here for the vote. Exactly. Technically, Lieutenant should be doing it, but you know. <laughs> but they you know, did, no. so we decided to vote. Hold, hold, hold on. So they can do assignments, but if they don't do assignments by the time we we all discuss among ourselves, we are adults. Mm-hmm. That's what you get for being late for staff meetings. 46, sir. I mean, two of us decided to just not show up to work, so... That's on them. What did, uh... What did they say over radio? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, howdy, right. howdy. There he uh, is. Howdy. Carter. Yes, hey, that was the late sorry. guy. I was having a little bit of Carter issues for a second. 10 4, engine 5. Just called up the fire radio at the. Uh... 1 engine 5? Yep. yep. 10 4. Can I talk to you? 
Do what? Can we have a chat? Uh, sure. You don't want to go bot or virtually under rest. Ah. Yeah, I guess. Depends on what Davis. When Davis comes back, we'll, we'll go. There's not really good parking over there for ladder. We'll find a way. We'll find a place to park there. If anything, we can just park at the casino. Yep.
Uh-huh. I know a super chill place on Haywick Ave. You guys look understaffed. No, nah, we've got two, two or three on engine, two on medic, and we got a ladder staff. Oh shit! You guys have a command car tonight? Nope. No. No. Hey, hey. hi. Hey, Brooks. Do you want hi. to play third, third man engine or pull out rescue? We got no, two on engine, two on ladder, and uh, two on medic. Up probably join you on engine it'll be safer uh, i'm a ladder Davis, actually currently? engine's roaming i don't know he went to talk to sanchez and i don't know where he went okay because um i'm a little late yeah that's okay we don't have assignments today anyways we just adulted yeah. it. I was on the beach and i lost time Watch Sa time. sanchez was 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 late so he got medic oh and dawson volunteered to go with him yeah no i i was i was on the beach wasn't paying attention to time look at my phone mm -hmm. and oh shit i'm late Yep. Dude, pull out a squad. Squad's the coolest thing y'all got. Yeah, uh, do you want to see that thing going to a wallet? Probably six miles an hour on your eyeballs. Do you guys wreck it? No, no he's I'm a bad no. driver. No, my uh, head's popping like an absolute bastard. Oh, that's heads. why you were saying it was safer if you got it with someone else. That makes yeah. sense. Hey, Davis. I'm a little late. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Hey, Sanchez. I can't hear a word you're saying. Oh, I'm gonna get out. Oh, I wasn't uh, talking. I'm oh, gonna get out. Well, your mouth is moving. Five. If that's all right. I, I realize. Uh, I mean, I don't see a problem with it. Okay. I'm what was it? it? Fire SC5. Squ one man squad five. All the way. Ripley's gonna be pissed if she sees that. Speaking of which, he's engine, pulling it out engine. of the dumpster. Engine went, uh, That's our went spare to the bar. Over there. You don't see all those vehicles over there? Yeah. Hey, Dave. No, you, get, you, get, don't worry, guys, you guys can definitely fit Quint fucking, or Tower, whatever the fuck you guys call it, inside that little garage over there. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, if the ladder was not possibly. <laughs> I still can't believe you guys ever arrest you one. The best apparatus. Yeah, I was a bit bummed about that. It was my favorite. One of the favorites. Hey, Cookie. It just wasn't utilized as much, which is a nine. Uh, I don't know engine... what it was. It was the best vehicle in the fleet. Bro, he's in a single man. I'm going to stab this guy. You're under uh, arrest. Shances Davis engine uh, went to the bar. You had the opportunity to uh, single man rescue five. Alrighty. They wanted us all to go up there, but... I mean, there's not really much up there but alcohol and we can't yep, drink and it. we can't drink on duty, so why be there? Just say he was a bad driver. Yes, yes, he did. So he pulls on. Um, I have so many questions. So basically, what you're saying is, why is he pulling out the biggest apparatus I mean, we have? Well, one of them. <laughs> we have no authority over him, so. I know, but he calls himself a bad driver and then proceeds to pull out rescue five instead of squad five. Oh. Well, rescue have better cushioning, I guess. And not for the person who he's gonna hit. Wow. Yeah, but. Or the eight on paperweight that a rescue is. Just think if all the rescue equipment are already be on scene. You won't need it if we pick in a little cube. You guys have fun.
Josh, are you P I uh, E P? Yeah. Oh my God. E M T. Are you primarily e E M T? Okay, just checking. Yeah. Let's let's Amen. just say I've been delayed with uh, with uh, out of state stuff. Oh, that's alright. No, just just checking because I actually couldn't remember. So Brooks, is it your first day uh, shift? Uh, no, actually, it's been my uh, I think this is my second week. I'm on. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Sanchez, nice you. one of the uh, senior firefighters, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, I'm still waiting to get my ATR for uh, you guys done. That's been well, a little delayed. Me right. or uh, the one to my uh, right would be the one to talk to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who? <laughs> Davis? Howdy there, Davis. Yeah. Yeah, me. You pick your new uh, ATR lease yet, Sanchez? No, I was literally just talking to Davis about I will hopefully have my decision out tomorrow. Yeah, hey, Davis, mm. could I, could, by chance, maybe sometime, could we get me trained for uh, ATR? One and two? Yeah, look look for a uh, training over the next week. I've been, I've been trying to get one out, but keep on ending up busy in my head, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know. Don't Jeff, worry, Kevin. Both. I believe there'll be some more ATR trainers here in the near future. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm doing. I'm host. I'm. I'm recruiting one more, and then I might throw in a second one in like a week's time or two weeks or a month's time. We'll see. All right. Well, hopefully, I get the job. Uh, do we have fire radio suddenly. by chance? Yes, we, we do. do. Okay, I got to call in real quick. And if I already. And Did you like my subtle hint or something, Chris? Don't know, Trinidad. I said uh, hopefully I'll be the one you pick tomorrow. Is my Very voice subtly. box too loud or is it too quiet? That's about right. It's okay. All right, just making sure because I can. Sanchez is just ignoring me. Spider. Yeah, I'm ignoring Watch because he's trying to get me to pick him. Hey, I've got qualifications. You do, and I do know that I do know you're you're you probably looked up to your uh, uncle, was it? Or dad? I can't remember. Still don't know what his fate is. He'll be 50 tomorrow. Uh -huh. If he's still alive. Well, let's hope he is. Let's hope he is, but... Yeah. Every day that goes by on, I mean, he was injured on December 23rd. The last scene on... Or, sorry, he was injured on November 23rd. Or 24th, and last time anybody seen him was uh, December 24th. So, and I really don't think he got much. I'll be in the medic. I don't think okay. he really got much medical treatment, so unless he treated himself, which I mean, okay, he is a paramedic, but how much can you treat yourself? They know he was wounded in the leg at the very least, and he was bleeding. Well, hopefully, he's found. Yeah, and like I days. said, every day that goes by is a day that's less likely. Yep. Uh, Davis, question for you. What's up? Uh, I filled out an application for a Barker to be a mechanic. Do you know when that's going to be accepted or am I going to talk to you about it? Uh, I, thought, I, th I thought Kevin had already uh, brought you on. Uh... He talked to me about it, but he was getting your approval first. He said, "He's the so boss. Think, Talk to him." I, th I think that was at the. Actually, no. At... Kevin's the boss of that department. Yeah, because because uh, at that time, oh. I believe he yeah, wasn't he's in the charge of that fleet area. maintenance manager. Uh, um, well, if Kevin doesn't get to you, which is highly likely. He's probably knee deep in another engine and ignoring everything else, including uh, his own health. I could see uh, it, considering when I talked to him, that looked like him gone home for a few weeks. Um, <laughs> give, give it a few days. I'll uh, I'll probably be able to bring you in for an interview up at our new HQ. All right, you got a new HQ? Fancy. Yeah, we got an office in Maze Bank Tower. From when I was talking oh, nice. to him when I first flew into state, it sounds like he's the guy that. When he starts working on cars, as he's in his own little world, that he uh he knows yes, what he's he doing, does. and he is very good. At oh, any word on the uh, heat maintenance for PD contractor uh, Davis? Uh, no word yet. I'm still look at that one. And again, my liaison for that. So. Um. 
there certainly would be a lot of repair work. I mean, when you get a chance, look at your email. And I, uh, there may be a message sent there. Uh, sorry. Mm. All right. David, were you on shift when the cop took out the fire hydrant? Uh, maybe? I don't know. It was that one right there. He uh, kind of went a bit too quick. <laughs> oh god oh i oh thank god i thought that was a full moon for a moment there it's not oh sure mm. no it's like a half a moon uh, on my monocle it's a full nah it's only a half all right maybe maybe a three quarter but really not i think it's the last yeah no oh, yeah never mind it's a third quarter <laughs> now it's a full moon now that it moved Oh god, that's freaky. Uh, sky is really weird. It just runs full moon. What the hell moon. is going on? Does that mean we're gonna have to deal with werewolves tonight? Shut your mouth right now. Yeah, shut your mouth. <laughs> please don't make me want to hurt myself in 20 seconds, please. Y'all, y'all better run. Better oh god. Dave, he's gonna he's throw you. Davis, I need to throw you in a five-gallon bucket and crush you in there. Nah, no, I've That's got it. Here we go. Five-gallon... Don't what? ask. Just don't ask. I, or, I'm sorry, I mean, sorry I mean an oil drum. Do I need to throw you in an oil drum and seal you in? Let you suffocate yourself. Hey, Davis. There you go. Don't, don't worry. It's a joke, Davis. It was a very bad joke. You were supposed to catch it. It is a very bad joke, yes. It is, it is a joke that is meant to be as a very bad one for a reason. Because it involves suffocation of CO2. Two things other than jokes. You're not a comedian. Yeah, I know. I'm better at running a dozer during wildfires than I am sitting in doing this. Well, it'll be a long time before you do that. Trust me on that one. <laughs> well, where I came from, that's where I always did it. On paper, I'm still registered to go fly back yeah, over Garland and do is, it. Yeah, uh, very particular about who drives the dollars, isn't that right? Davis. Yeah. Uh, what I've is yet it, to fly the, I've yet to drive the dozer, and he's also very particular about who flies uh, the, oh, with the uh, Firehawks. Yeah. I know. Uh, what is it? On paper, I can still go over back to California and run their dozers any day that they need me. Because of me having my international uh, red card. I'm a crew lead for, for those and a senior crew lead at that, and I'm still <laughs> haven't done the dozer train. <laughs> yeah, I have my international red card, so I, I can go back anytime and run that. Run, run the dozers. Heck, Fire Tech to. 51 and get the flight of Fire Hawk, Hawk until like right before I left the apartment practically. You have been here over two years at that point. Yeah. I think Dodd's been on it the most. He's managed to activate it the most because he's a uh, assistant uh, chart leader for it. Well, the, he was in the first Baldwin's class with, with uh, Robert Roth and Baskins and Manning and... Yeah. I was reading about that in the journal recently. Hopefully there's no uh They weren't really runners. No, they were going to the pub. Yep. I 
would be a great way to end too, like just drive over there and say, then tell Dawson I was going for you too. <laughs> I still can't believe it's still a full moon. I wonder if it's going to turn to a quarter moon when it gets to the next quadrant of the sky. Da 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 da. Are you really singing, Davis? Do you what? Are you really singing? A little bit. No, boy. Man, really, Th 30 minutes in, still not a single call. That means nobody's getting hurt in the city. That's good, Davis. I guess so. So? Still can't take the silence sometimes. Hmm.
wants to go for a jog on the beat. Okay. What? Well, why? Exercise, cardio, fitness. I'm gonna change the T-shirt down first. I've already done that. Bit. Let's go, Davis. I prefer not to become a lazy sack of shit. No offense. I said jog, not run. <laughs> I don't think he's coming. And I can't help but you're an old man. Red sky tonight. Maybe that means good news. I hope so. You see the red sky? Yeah. That's supposed to bring good news. Let's hope so. Yeah. For both our sakes. Yeah, I don't know how much bad news I can take this week. Yeah. Went and visited Morgan, by the way. Well, how's she doing? She's doing fine. Um, What's the prognosis on her? Oh, she's still breathing um she currently cannot feel her legs so she may not be a firefighter anymore after this <sighs> she's been through so much hasn't she yeah i never even heard what happened to her and her husband I, it's something we don't like to talk about. He had, um, some health issues with mm. mental health. I mean, because the last century I got in the journal was the day before my dad left. He wrote that he threw her dad to them to the airport for their honeymoon in the park aircraft. And I got back and there's no mention of him when I got back at all. And it seems like that's a really touchy subject it, to her, so I didn't want to bring it up to her. It is a very touchy subject to a lot of us. Um, it was not a... It was very, very bad. Um, well, you I realize if my... Sleep. I don't need to know, but you realize my dad's back, he's going to need to know. Yeah, I'll discuss yes. it with him then, but I at the moment I don't want to think back on it. It it's a lot of painful. I mean I know he was worried about Warner a couple of times in his journal thinking he was gonna do something foolish. But he never really elaborated. Just that he was troubled. Something about some lady named Kayla that he, uh,
Yeah, anyway, there was something about... What was that? Something about somebody on top of a toilet? Oh. So they had a call and then called it in. Guess so. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that red sky was a sign. Maybe it wasn't. Part of me dreads knowing what the end result is, and part of me wants it to get it over with. I'm not even sure if I want to be pissed at him, welcome him back, or what. But I can't process what he did until he's, until I know his fate. I've kind of been keeping that in, in a box all locked up. I mean, he basically lied about me his whole life. My whole life. Well, most of my life. Eighteen years of it. Denied I existed. I'm sure he had his reasons for it. No, no. that's what Samuels told me too, but... I, I can't claim to know what he was thinking. Yeah, no. I didn't mean to, you know. Yeah. It's just hard to... It's hard not talking to it. It's hard not having somebody to talk to it about it. My, my aunt and uncle won't talk... I haven't, I haven't talked to them since I flew back. They don't want to talk to me, and quite frankly, I don't want to talk to them. And, no, I really don't want to put that all on Samuelson either. So, I've been kind of balling it up. Those blood eyes, shut eyes you're seeing, when I'm not yeah. working, I'm drinking. Until I have to get sober to get on shift. I mean, I'm here. I know, but I promise you were his best friend. He even sits on his journal, and you've mentioned he's your was one of your best friends. So it's kind of awkward talking about him to you. And I really haven't met anybody else really in the states so far. Guess I need to start getting out and meeting people. If I'm gonna make a living yeah. here. Yeah, I definitely do. Find you. Um group to hang out with, do, do things on the weekend with, somebody who's oh, not so a far just Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. <laughs> I mean, there's some of the stuff we see and some of the stuff we do that's hard to talk to people that aren't a firefighter. That is true. You know what I'm talking about, like those tough calls. I mean, there was like White's house fire that we thought there was a puppy inside. Turned out it wasn't a, it was a recording and a stuffed animal. I mean, Kevin ran in there to save it. He tore up his damn stitches because he didn't tell me he had damn stitches. I wouldn't let him go in the building with me if I had known that. Uh, he's a piece of work, that's for sure. I'm glad he's not in the fire department anymore. He's very reckless. That's why I, I have my lips. I have my reservations about him and at Barker and even deep maintenance, but from what I've seen, he seems to be doing a good job, so. Can't fault his me mechanical work. I mean, I could fault this firefighting and stuff, and some of the stuff I heard from Sam, I was like, oh boy. But. Yeah. Nah, he he definitely does keep a clean shop, that's for sure. Yeah, I noticed that. I mean, he seems to have stuff organized pretty good in the shop, so... Yeah, I, just I just wonder if we're going to get the PD contract or not. I understand that it's needed, but I don't understand why it's needed all the time that he takes that damn helicopter apart. Sometimes I don't even use the helicopter, and he takes it apart and puts it back together. 
It's like. Yeah, that makes no sense because I thought all the maintenance of most things were by flight hours. Yeah. I, mean, I know I'm flying a lot, but I don't fly that damn much. And you're pretty much only pilot these days, aren't you? I'm mostly. I'm mostly the one bringing in our cargo. We do have a few local pilots that will do things when I'm not there, but they they can only do so much. They're not qualified to use no. the uh, cargo bob. Mm. I think I'm the only one currently qualified to use the cargo bob. Should we head back to the station? Yeah, might as well. Are you rested enough? Missing. Are you rested enough, old man? Hey, hey, I work out every single day. I am. Uh huh. Last one back. Is a wrong egg. Okay, old man. I touched the station before you. I don't count. I got here first. I'm going up to change. <laughs> and shower. Transplant your hair, like your actual like hair, into where your eyebrows were at one point, right? I, 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 he I likes not having any eyebrows, <laughs> but it gives me an excuse to wear sunglasses and I have an excuse to tell you why you're a why, why, why you're being annoying for asking about it. Well, hey, if I'm being annoying, I'm doing my job. Considering you're being annoying by sitting on my back, you asshole. Mm -hmm. No, no. Can't we all get along? Son of a bitch. Not today. I don't even know what you were trying to do there, Davis. He was trying to do a push up, but I think his arms were both too crossed for that. Yep. He almost fell flat on his face. With his legs. <laughs> I'm still saying mine's better. My, my workout's a little better. Just seeing how, uh, how Battalion Chief Manning used to work out, man. It was weird. I've seen drawings of it. 
What? How? How? What? Huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, he had an insane core body strength. Well, that's kind of probably why. I actually decided to do some shit to make it better. Didn't he like levitate up in the air and do pull-ups with his hands crossed? Yes. Yes. He did. Yeah. My uncle. Uh, there was a weird. drawing in a diary. Yeah. Seems a little bit physically impossible, but all right. Nothing's impossible if you put your mind to it. Nothing's impossible in my ass. Something's always going to be impossible. Like, breaking laws of physics is pretty much impossible. No, I think he preferred to call it bending laws of physics. All right, got 20 more minutes before I break the PR. Look at us all doing exercise, but Sanchez. Some bitch, you're just sitting in there. Shut your hell up. I already did a run. I beat Davis twice. That doesn't that doesn't matter. You're look at us all doing exercises. In my ass. You're just sitting there. You're not doing any exercise other than I just took like a shower. Donuts. I already I already did my exercise, and I did an ex workout before I came to work today. So did I. I'm still doing more. Good for you. Davis kind of needs the exercise, though. I don't know, we'll say he does need a little bit of that exercise. Boy, I exercise every single day. Doesn't I am show. peak physical form. Are you sure? Don't really show. I'm joking with you. I'm purely joking. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to challenge you to a uh, stair climbing competition. Full bunker gear. Son of a bitch, I'll beat your ass in that easily. You know, there is a set of stairs in this building. Shut the hell up. Don't have any balls to do it now? I don't feel like doing it. I so, really don't. So what you're saying it. is if Davis were to call you on it now, you would check it out. No, I wouldn't check it out. I just don't feel yeah. like doing it because my eyeballs being a son of a bitch. Davis, you know what you should do, right? Well, a stair climb about? race or stair climb challenge to see who many, how many challenge. stairs we can climb. Oh, that shit's easy. All right. You can do it with the air pack on and running off your air tank. Do what? Are you able to run? Use your working time while doing it. I don't know. Hooking up an air tank and running who? off your air time. What I the hell? Who the hell is here? that? I don't know. What the hell? They clearly have some pink ass hair. Is that Jefferson? Maybe. Who knows? Also, by the way, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just messing with y'all if y'all don't know. Alright, so, should, I, should I go ahead and sit on you while they're coming up here? Son of a bitch, do it. Let's do it. Like, I'll take two of you out of time. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Damn, some bitch, you are heavy. Holy hell. Howdy. Hello. Did I... Do I need to come back later? No, I'm doing a plank. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been out of plank for over 20 minutes, and he just... I told him to sit on my back. Davis, you're not that old. Stand up. <laughs> uh, he's no, old. He Trust me. He, he just could. ran to the beach and back. He's, like, out of shape. You... Oh, dude. <sighs> Who won? That's I did. And that's a hazmat leader. Yeah. <laughs> Brooks, get up. Come on. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll be fine. Oh, what are y'all doing out with a boat this day night? Actually, no, I'm getting up. I don't feel like I sitting on this concrete anymore. Uh, you know, that's a good point. When we started, it was daylight. And then I had to go to the old sheriff's office, and that was uh, riveting. Let's go with that. Riveting, yeah. huh? Apparently, I can't get a concealed carry because of a... Uh, because they said I have a misdemeanor on my record, and I don't think that's how the law works, but okay. 
No, you can't. You no, that isn't. You can get a concealed carry. You just can't own a gun if you're a felon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As long as you're not a felon, you are perfectly fine. I was told fine. I was denied on the grounds of I have a misdemeanor on my record. Go to PD. They'll go to, go I to have PD. To go, I have to go through Seraph because of where I live. Why? That's some bullshit. Yeah, you have yeah. to go through the jurisdiction you live in to. Uh, that, that is carry. hell stupid. But all right. Yep. Um, I'm gonna have to talk to someone and see if that's actually right or not, but I feel like there is some issue with the law on that one. Or there's an issue of someone's interpretation of it. Keep Probably in interpretation. Sheriff Department here, right? I, I mean, I don't think there should be any grounds that I can't have a concealed carry when they told me, yes, I can carry openly and own a firearm. You see my logic here? Well, who'd you talk to at the Sheriff's Department? I didn't get a name. I was a little more annoyed because I was told I got the thing is though I got an email from a sergeant, Sergeant Pitt, about it. Yeah, and, that's who I got an email from too. Yeah, and they said it was valid and I had to go in and get it and pick it up. Which, was it an you, investigator? So are they holding chance? your license from you now? No, I would told, I would email back Sergeant I, Pitt and tell him what happened and, and get clarification. Yeah, I'm gonna have to in a minute. It's just of course, it would help if you had the uh, the name of the deputy that told you that. I have a minor question to ask. Anyone place up for rent that's, like, cheap, relative, relatively cheap? A what? Do any of y'all know a place that's, like, up for rent that's relatively cheap? Look up the, uh, the listings on the uh, website. The yeah, there, yeah, there should be a... Oh, I, I didn't know that you get that. There, there was a real estate website for uh, this state. Yeah, yeah the is. issue is, um, like, fully registered civ uh, civilians only get, like, the link to it. You can still uh, use it, but uh, it's you don't get it sent. You won't be able to qualify, I don't think. No, you qualify. I've got a house. Right. You should, I bought any a house. Of you, anyone, anyone should have access to see the website. You just don't you can, al you can also buy a house without having a full citizen paper. I'm still, I'm still new. Trust me, I've got out. a I'm place. I'm still trying to figure it out because I'm new, but I'm, and I'm because I'm also getting tired of living in a hotel right now. Fair point. That's got to be I expensive. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want uh, to yeah. uh, the struggle. Basically, we both went through to get the um, property up at the end of Catfish View. It was a struggle and a half. Oh, the line to live in the boat. No, <laughs> I got my property pretty quickly, but I was renting it yeah, to begin with first. The issue was the issue was is um that it's it was not on the website i ha basically had to file a form uh. um to ask for that property if it is still like if it's taken or not if they are up for selling it oh so to answer your question for my hotel amount i'm paying right now is like eight nine hundred dollars a month it's like nothing i had to take a loan because that property up there is like one hundred twenty five thousand. Uh, well, it, it's, it, it, it isn't terrible, but it is eating away my paychecks pretty quick. I don't make that much. I bought one in my apartment for 300000 Well, yeah, go ahead. I, honest, like I, I want to be on the country I, area. Yeah, my place I, is out in the country. I think I paid 90, 000, 90 grand for it. When I went, uh, lived on at the West Highway in the Great, Great Ocean, I paid like 4000 a month, and I... It was not that bad, so 900 is definitely not a problem. Not what, yeah. what you get paid for. You know, like, it isn't apartment. like I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just I want to stop half. I want to be able to own a place like a ranch or something. A ranch, good luck where, finding that. Well, I mean, I don't want like a big one, I want a small one. I don't like I want yeah, still, one that has look property that, to it that I can go walk out, shoot like a gun, and no one's gonna care. Yeah, but finding a ranch, good luck with that because most places in the county are already gone. Really? Uh, yeah, the county is like That's the most one stupid place. shit. I well, mean, there's only so many houses in the county, too. Is, that, is it that the place above us? I mean, it's not a ranch, but I mean, there's a the couple houses above us. I don't think any of them are. Oh, you mean, yeah, you mean the blue and the yellow house, yeah. I, I mean, think we're right on the water, still... but, but there's still a couple of them up down Catfish that you could probably look into. Yeah, there are two up above them. us, and like one at the lighthouse. 
mm -hmm. that's not taken, but I can tell you the one at the lighthouse is pretty expensive because technically you have the lighthouse with it. Uh, yeah. Someone owns that um, one. I, I think I know that one. For okay, um, mind I'm going to actually go up to you real quick and probably go take a trip up and look at them. It's like Here two anyway. houses. It's not that bad. Alright, I'll go up there and look. It's gonna be cheaper because it's not on the waterfront. Yeah, you know, I mean... And depending on the size, how much land you get and all that. By the way, like... have I met you before? You, you look... Hello. Who, me? You. I have yeah. never met you. No, ma'am. Well, my name's Lucina. My name's, uh, Xander. Nice to meet you. To be fair, Lucy, you've been Both out of state for a while. Joshua Road, Postal... Well, it sounds like a Sanchez and a Daniels item. I just went off. Or whoever's on medic, I don't know who all is. Uh, have fun! Have fun, fellas! <laughs> we didn't get assignments today, so we voted and he was late for the vote. Medic one fire really. Can we get uh, I mean, further details for this? We still have Davis, and Davis is like. No, that, uh, the, no, you don't want Davis on the medic. Yeah, we didn't want Davis, Davis on medic. No, I didn't no, say that, but Davis is lieutenant in training, so. He can't give he assignments. Have a good night, sir. Wait, what? Where's Your what? medic's yeah. leaving. Uh, I yeah, but, yeah, you don't want Davis on the medic. That's just how you get yeah. busy. You also don't want me on a medic, basically, because then you get fires. Unless you want fires and just. Hey, I'm seven on four, medic one. I was gonna say it's not good for everyone else except you. Exactly. <laughs> That's the I thing. mean, the the worst thing you probably do is put Newman, me, and Davis on a medic, and then you're totally. No, screwed. no. If you put Samuels and Davis on a medic, the world will end. Oh no! That's, that's it did end that one time. Spe especially if you put him on two separate yeah, medics. Did, didn't that happen? It was Davis, Samuel, uh, Newman, and I all on medic one night, and then it, just, I don't think we stopped. Was there a single day that that, ha that we stopped? For... I feel like it was it was a real busy night. But, um, I don't know, we're gonna go test the sonar, I guess, and hopefully not get lost in the middle of the night. I I bought this sonar new, I just... It should be working. Like last Good time. doesn't mean it does. Does your transponder work? Yes, I tested it myself. Okay, anything else I need to worry about? Basically, I refilled that whole boat. So, technically, it should be up to standard. Okay. Even above standard. Um, I hope that works and we don't have to worry about something. I'm gonna be honest, I'm more forward. worried about when we get that tugboat. Uh, yeah, that's a valid argument. I'm more worried about that. Fair enough. Because I don't know if you can trust the, the workers down in the docks that they actually fix it. Uh, mm, yeah, I, yeah, I'll think about that one. Hard. Ow. <laughs> I just don't want if if it does break down. All I hope is it's an engine and not a we're sinking. I doubt that. I've I've been through uh towards the boat for like a few times by now, and there's I especially checked the hole, and there's no damage to the hole. From what they also told me, it's just uh, engine stuff that they need to fix. Alright. But even well, that will be shit. <laughs> fair enough. Well, uh, shall we get going? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. have it. You two have a good night. I'm not going to say nope. the word because I'm planning on joining you Hope here you shortly. Hope you two have a quiet night. I... Well, he just jinxed it. Davis, <laughs> are you sure you want to override Kevin's decision to uh, hire this guy? I am considering it. Oh, by the way, Davis, I don't know if you heard it already. Um, Very I think finally got the Spicy Boy license as well. Medic one. After a uh, half a year or something. Law enforcement on scene have notified me that the immediate access to the scene is going to be through You know what? I, and you and I got trained in hazmat. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. Yeah, Spicy Boys. Really? 
in my case, I just sit in a room waiting for things to happen because I need something and people... Eh, that's happened a case. That's happened a couple times. I was saying, like... I don't know, Davis, I think you trained you and me, right? Yeah. There's a question. Am I sane for wanting to be the one to go in all the time? No, definitely not if you're talking about asthma. I mean, that being said, my my other job, or one of my, actually two of my other jobs technically is to work with explosives. So. What kind of jobs did you work? Did you work with explosives? I'm the chief engineer of a mine and quarry, and then I'm a, res a National Guard combat engineer who yeah. just got her sapper tab. Mm. So, right, so I'm tired. I'm, I'm going to go look at houses. Have fun, guys. So Have yeah, fun. Yeah, it's the two small houses at almost the end of Catfish View. That's where I was the last uh, month yeah, was at Sapper look School. At a, a few other uh, houses up in the hills. So yeah, I just saying. Fair enough. So I spent the last month effectively walking through uh, ranges and learning to get really good at blowing things up. Oh, and th there's still the building things too, but that's beside the point. Oh, you guys could have used her on the last hazmat call you guys had. What happened? Huh? Davis. You want to tell him about the bunker? Yeah, no. Wait, that, bunker? We passed that off to the feds. We passed that off to the fucking feds. Well, a was there an, was it, was national there a supremist with uh, weapons cache in a bum bunker. Oh, I, take care. I mean, I'm not. I don't demolitions, but I can do control dead. But I don't there, know how much so the possible be possible hazardous gas in there, along with trip wires and shit. No, I don't. Oh, God. No, no okay. I don't. Good I don't thing do that. I wasn't there. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Uh, I, 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 I let someone else do that. Even if I have to wear a cam suit, I don't do that. You don't want to touch the seaburn stuff alone. Dad. Nope. Let me All see, right, this is why I don't want to be hazmat. But hazmat's fun. No, it's not. But you it might is. wake up with less hair, you might start glowing in the dark. I mean, Davis it glows in the dark. I like... Actually, I got the hazmat, but the, it's not my preferred thing to sit there and go in. Gonna be honest. You've been I mean, you once. do get extra pay for it, but... I've been in twice or three times. Twice? Yeah, I had I got to deal with mustard gas, and then I had to deal with fentanyl, which oh yeah, fair. And I think there was one more. I'm not 100. percent I'm not dealing um, with people turning into puddles, though. Luckily, hmm. not yet. Oh, okay. It it would be my third time going in. The first time, though, I was in bunkers in a another gas because I was sent in be by someone before. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm I'm quite comfortable in the cold zone. That's, that's a valid, that's a valid, uh, thought I mean, Roth, to be honest, right? If you're on engine, I even put you into the warm zone when you have to do decon. If I'm not half that train? Decon. Oh. Uh, you can't do secondary decon. Uh. It's just spraying down people. Okay. Yeah, they're, so they're also, I'm planning on talking with McFall. There'll probably be some changes on what non hazmat train can do and can't do. I, I, I want to include them more. That, what that, I normally honestly, do they should is... be able to help with helping out with barriers and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's what I've been trying to do, and I've uh, ever seen I've been seeing command on so far. Like I'm trying to uh, let the non hazmat people um, do uh, like the the decon line or help with the decon line and um, helping the secondary decon and bring the people to the uh, what you might call it. Maybe medics, you should look so at so look at a secondary cert for hazmat, where maybe you just do the decon line. Decon certification, that might be yeah. Something. That way, for the people that don't want to be full hazmat but wouldn't mind helping out with hazmat scenes, and then that way, if you only have a limited number of hazmat personnel, you could have the decon specialist man the decon station, and not tie up someone who's a hazmat specialist on decon. I think we need a meeting. <laughs> you still think? I think it's already been discussed. Is it? It's already getting daytime again. Hey, that's it's good. four thirty in the morning, so. Yeah. 
if you my sleep schedule's night. kind my sleep schedule's kind of screwed i'm gonna be honest with you you're a firefighter you don't know what a sleep schedule is that's that's 100 percent valid but <laughs> i just spent the last month with like three hours of sleep each it's it's not the most fun you're so lucky they let you have three month hours of sleep yeah i got lucky in that regard I mean, there's nothing like is being tired when you're playing still with bombs. Off? Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's bullshit. Right, shall we get going before we are yeah. not able to get on shift at all anymore? <laughs> yeah. Later on. <laughs> yep. Well, it was good talking to you. See if you're still around in like an hour or so. Depending. Yep. Don't die. <laughs> so how's your guys' night going? Anything at all? Good. Uh, medical call? Sounds like no. Yeah. That's about it. No. Engine still out roaming. One of your firefighters, or two of your firefighters, up at the bar in your park, told each other, yeah, or maybe. two brothers, whatever, said they were gonna kill each other, and then someone called it in as a homicide. Oh. Yeah, but that's about all that's happened tonight. Which knuckle knucks were that? I have no idea. I wasn't there. Uh -huh. That would be negative. No fire marshals currently. I've done nothing all night. <laughs> that's good. Oh, right? I mean, that that's nobody's like committing crimes. Thing, no, it's not. I need something to do. Oh, well. Oh. All right, he's there. Just got a notification of the motion to sensors That's in the one. shop going off. It's oh, Kevin. <laughs> no. Oh, well, it looks like it's just me and you. Yep. Yep. So, uh, how's the uh, new property tricking you? It's the same property I was renting. I ended up uh, talking to the landlord, and they were telling me they were thinking about selling it, and with right. the pay bump for. Being SAR in um, in uh, Wildlands and ATR plus uh, my nuts pay, I was making enough that I could afford to buy the place. I mean, like I got rid of the farm truck I had because you know all the emotional baggage that came with that truck. I mean, it'd been part of the family forever, and every time I got in the damn thing, it was bringing me attacks on you know the family issues that I don't, you know that I was trying to suppress so I bought that Hummer it's actually parked in the parking lot behind the station because uh, a certain stubborn firefighter who got her car rammed into refuses to drive it even though she doesn't have a vehicle mm. and another certain stubborn firefighter refuses not to take the car away in case she ever doesn't stops getting stubborn and actually needs the car. So it's a case of who's more stubborn, the Irish or the German. Uh, well, that's going to be a... Uh, or the male or the female. <laughs> well, no, that, that's, that's going to be an endless battle. Oh, I'm fairly certain it will be. Neither one of us has wavered yet. But uh, we do have an agreement. If I need it, I just send her a text and tell her I'm taking it for free, whatever long. 
and I've been driving my bike back and forth. I've been using it as an excuse to drive the motorcycle as much as possible. The nice thing, if I need it, I can put the motorcycle on the back and drive it. So. It has been nice to be able to drive my motorcycle lately, but some of this rain we've been getting. Well, if I haven't been working, I've been drinking and reading a diary. So, I mean, I'm getting sober way before I get to work and stuff, but my off-duty time, I've been drinking and reading and sleeping or trying to sleep. I just can't stop thinking about it. I'm hoping some say soon we'll get an answer. Yeah. Just checking to see if we've got a red morning sun. I've been checking yeah, no, superstitious was, stuff like that. I was more interested in the local that just kept on hitting things over there. Yeah, uh, I try to tune out the locals. He's on going around in a circle for some reason. <laughs> I think so. Still driving in circles. Yep. Radio from Medic One. Fire rate of medic one will be in route priority to the box medical level one notified.
What's wrong? Yeah, nothing. I'm just uh, shifting out. Uh, I'm standing. Where... <laughs> I just needed to move. Mm. I just heard the last break. I did too. It sounded like it that... was behind the station. Should we go investigate? I'm gonna lock engine before we do. Or ladder. Okie dokie. Be that That's a fancy it. car. Uh, they just pulled in towards the station. I wonder what they want. That's an awful rich car to be in this neighborhood, don't you think? Yeah, I've seen some people driving rich cars out here. Mm. They parked at a station. They parked they at the park. station. Could help. Uh, yeah, how can sure we help thing. you? How can we um, help? I'm looking for Mr. You're looking for who? I'm looking for Mr. Manfred. Well, my first name's Manfred. Ah, I believe this is the uh, individual we're looking for on the right. Is there any way we can talk privately at all? Sure, what's this about? We'd rather say it privately. Okay. You follow me. Davis, you want to come along? He's, uh, uh... sure? He's a friend of the family. Fair enough. If that's okay with you guys. Yeah, I'm in. That's fine, yes. Alright, uh, should I mark us 10-6? Yeah, might as well. Ladder one if I radio. Might have to flex that F2 muscle to get it to close. There we go. Maybe. Hey, Darren, someone turn off my radio for now. Radio, do we have anybody calling yeah, for, I said we were uh, off natural. communication. Take it, you gentlemen um, have some news? Yeah, so um, I'll start by introducing myself. Um, I am Lord Barlow, the uh, president of the Lifeline Foundation. Uh, yes, I colleague... am. Um... Oh, sorry, go on. Continue. No, no, go you, go, you go ahead. You do know who we are. Yeah, I think so. Uh, also, you guys, uh, Mr. Barlow has uh, involvement with... Uh... Parker, I believe. Aviation. Yes, I am also uh, one of the uh, uh, investors. Yes. I assume this is to do with my father? Yes, we are here on 
regarding your father. Uh, we have received word uh, that he did undertake a mission uh, on behalf of the Lifeline Foundation, as yes, well as I'm aware on behalf of, that of the United States journal. military. Yes, to uh, maintain a rescue mission for some of his colleagues. Oopsie daisies. I think my, my sorry, my head is just a wee bit. Just got to catch up here very quickly. So. Well, there we go. We have received word from our contacts on his team that the rescue mission was conducted on the 13th. However, we also received word shortly after that he was recovered uh, from it. And unfortunately, and it's with my deepest sympathies that unfortunately he did not make it. I see. Thank you for letting me know, Empress. I do, I do sincerely apologize uh, on behalf of the Lifeline Foundation and on behalf of everyone involved on the passing of your father. However, he did complete his mission. That's good. At least there's that. Um, his body... Oh, sorry, what was that? Go ahead. I, I was going to say... Because he moved on while in our service, if you would accept, I would be willing to cover the costs of his funeral arrangements out of a sign of respect for the fact that he lost uh, his Thanks, life working but under our employment. He really didn't want a funeral. He wants to. He just wants his ashes spread spread out to sea. I understand. If no. I can supply anything for you to get out there, then just let me know. No, uh, I, I'm going to take the boat named after my dead mother and take his and his her asses out to sea and scatter him once they're back. Davis, you going to join me? Davis, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I can. It's been a rough just... week for Mr. Davis. His other best friend got shot, and now his other friend is dead. So I think he's going to take this harder than me right now. But if there's anything we can do, please let us know. I will. Thank you. Remember, the Lifeline Foundation doesn't only really help members of the public we also offer assistance to first responders as well if you need anything reach out you have our number yes We're more than happy to help you with anything thank you very much all right yeah i hope we meet on better better, term. better terms in the future yeah i think we're gonna have to have a marker board meeting at some point in time in the future i mean let me know yeah. i'll uh check my schedule just come back from the uk so yeah we'll let you know i think it'll be a little bit we gotta wait for the estate to go through and stuff but with his passing that means his shares are going to pass on to me and i'm gonna have to take a more active role in the company let me uh see you guys out davis you're gonna be okay up here by yourself for a few I mean, we can show ourselves out if you want to stay with him. I don't mind. That's fine yeah, if you guys don't mind. I'll, do I'll, I'll be. I, 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 I'm. Davis, I'm gonna call us forty-two. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm going to leave my cart here. If you need anything, reach Fire out to him. Although you can find me on the Barker. Thank you. Board. And now we're going to wait for donuts. I can't believe it.
Yeah, but best call us. Yeah, wait until the just... dispatch. Attention, San Andreas Fire. If I can have you en route 8040, again, 8040 for a canine bite. Yeah, they don't need us for that. That's okay, that, Davis. It's... This is a joke, right? Discretion, I wish it was. It, it, he can't... He can't be. I guess this luck finally ain't ran up with him. Did you drive down here today? I, 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 did, I, I did. I don't Michael. think you're in any shape to drive home. Are you going to be continuing I, to that MVA or are you going to the dog bite? God, I, 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 I need to sit down. I, I need to sit down. Copy One second to the first. Bite. I think we need to do something else first. Well, that was a little awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. You know, he thought you were like a brother to him. Which means that makes you my uncle. So look at the bright he side. You've got family. I'm going to call us 42 at this time, though. Uh, okay. Fire radio. Uh-huh. Fire radio show firefighter 51 and fire tech 54 10 7 10 42. Copy, so firefighter for 51 and fire tech 54 10 7 10 42. I just. He. He. He can't. He was too stubborn. How. How could. Oh. God. I'm telling you, it was probably the wounds. I mean, I knew he'd been wounded. I had a feeling. I, I just had a feeling. Bill, I've never known a thing to hold that man down. Never. And now he's just... I, I, uh, Fire radio out of channel, going to transfer God. radio. Fire radio. Oh, damn it. What am I going to tell Morgan? I can't. Uh, she, she, can you get a hold of her today? We can both go see her. If not, I'm going to have to put that off because I, I, I got to go back and tell the family. I, I don't think she, she would be awake right now. Oh, I, I probably... Are you going to be in jail? We'll, 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 I'll wait to tell her until after she's... Yeah, don't tell her until she's out of the hospital. Or at least recovered yeah. somewhat. I mean, that's probably going to hit her just as hard as you. And I've got to tell everybody he was my dad, too. 
So I gotta tell him he's my dad, that I've been lying to him, he's been lying to him, and that he's dead. I mean, I can't believe it. I'm kind of good you were here with me when we uh, found out. I mean, I don't know if I could have handled it if you hadn't been here. Do you want me to give you a ride home? I, I think that would probably be for the. I can't. I can't be. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna I can't tarp the ladder, and then I'm gonna go get the Hummer. If you want to wait here, I'll be back with the Hummer. Hey, I'll, I'll just. I need to get downstairs. I need to. I need to get some air. I need to get a drink. Yeah, I'm gonna change and go get it, and I'll be back in a few. Hey, Laker. I need to talk hey, to you sir. real quick. Fuck, what'd I do? Nothing. <sighs> You're the first to notice other than Davis. My dad's uh, dead. Other than who? Davis. What the fuck? My dad's dead. We just found out about five minutes ago. God damn. Can you keep an eye on him? I'm gonna go get my truck from on Samuel's Davis. apartment. He's right out in the other room, but if you keep an eye on him, if you want, back, I can. T I, if you want, I can run over there and get the truck. I know where she. I got there. it. I'll get it. Yeah. Just keep an eye on Davis for a few minutes. I'm gonna grab the truck. I gotta leave her a note anyways to let her know. I'm not gonna call her. I can't tell her at all. Let Montana know, and if you could let Ripley know, I'll try getting everybody else to know later as soon as I can. Yeah, I can Thanks, stay man. here with. Who am I staying here with? Davis, right here. Oh. Okay. I'm yeah, just gonna go across the street, you know, her, her apartment. Yeah, I know. Street, yeah, she's so. just on the road. Davis, I'll be right back. So I'll put up the big bright back screen for a second.
Okay, folks. Be right back in just a second. Is your medics here, by the way, Laker? Um, they're not. Those ones are. You can get that. Um, yeah. Hey, um. Hey, Laker, hey, come uh, with me a second. I'm gonna need right you, back. medic. You want to send oh, a truck okay. ahead? What's going on? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, is that Morgan's a, bike? Uh, no, that's my bike. Oh, God, I keep, right. You guys all have the same fucking bike. I know, mine's orange though. Uh, I left the letter in Devin's apartment. If you could check with him, let him have Montana check, make sure she gets it when, when she gets it on. Yep. To let her know about my dad, but I gotta go take Davis home or whatever. And yep. Then I gotta get a flight out of here to go tell my parents or my aunt and uncle. Okay. Crap, I still. And then I gotta tell everybody else in the apartment. Yep. Thanks, uh, man. Qu quick question. Do we have any yeah. command or anything on? No, Davis was the highest on. We don't have any command. We, I think we've got a medic and an engine, but I don't know for sure. Yeah. We turn off the radio when the guys came to tell us about my yeah, dad. As, yeah, as far as I know, Carter and White are still on engine. Yeah. I don't know where they're at, but I'll hop, I take it ladders on staff. Ladders on staff. We were both on ladder. Um, okay. I'll staff so, ladder until yeah. they get back. Thanks, man. And like I said, make sure my antenna. Yep. I left the yep. note in her sure. kitchen counter on Devin and yep. Samus. So, but thanks. I want to tell in person, but there's no time. It's checking to see if there's any bars open, but I don't think there are any. That's a bad one, man. You, you, let me ask you something. Did the, um, did the one close already? Yeah, um, uh, our Rip Ripley's closed. I don't know if Bahama Mama's is open. Our unicorn's no, they... open, but I don't think either one of us really want to go to the unicorn right now either. No. And Bahama Mama's is probably going to be closed for a bit. Yeah, I would imagine so, unless the lieutenant opens it. I don't think either one of us should be drinking right now anyways, truthfully.
You're gonna be okay, man. I take the silence as no. I... I don't know. It's been a rough week, but at least, at least Morgan's recovering, right? Maybe. Maybe not. She may be paralyzed. Yeah, but paralyzed yeah. is better than dead. Both. Both my best friends. I've lost one, now the other's... Oh. Yeah, but let's be realistic. We found out he was dead today, but... He was probably dead. I mean, they said they recovered him. They didn't even say when he died. He could have been... They could have just recovered his body to confirm he was finally dead. What? Say, as much as I hate to say that, his condition wasn't good. I mean... And... I wish he was still here. I want, I want to yell at him for lying to me all my life. But I'm never going to get that closure now. I'm going to have to live with that. Never knowing why. I guess the only thing I can take solace is that his mission wasn't successful. He still didn't say the damn OPSEC word. And it's probably a good thing he isn't alive. Or he isn't alive. Because if you would have found out what happened to Morgan, hey, you know what he would have done. He would have hunted that person down. I'm about half a mind too. Myself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Davis. From what you told me, Morgan's had a tough time. What do you think she's going to do when she learns she lost, that Roth is gone? And then on top of that, She loses you. But don't do it to me either. I may seem like I'm holding it together, but I've got a mission right now. I have to let my family know what happened, even if they're not talking to me. I can't call them. I'm going to have to visit them. Right. Um. I mean, otherwise I would stay with you for a few days, but I can't let... If I don't tell them the minute I find out, or as soon as I find out, I'm never going to be able to repair that relationship, and they're all I got left for family now. My yeah, mom and my um, dad are both dead. Yeah. Um, here, um, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. I just texted one of our local pilots. Mm -hmm. He's going to help you. Just, I'll give you his number and he'll fly you out. Uh, no cost to you. And, I was just going to catch a commercial, but okay. I, it might, I, I think you said you're barely holding it together. I know, I don't know about you, yeah, but no. I know I wouldn't be wanting to fly with all those people in the yeah. state. You're right. I'll let you know when I'm coming back. I'll either pick commercial or talk to you, but I'll try to keep in touch with you. Right. If you need anything, call me. Um, I'd invite you to come along if you want to, but I don't know if you want to be gone that long. Especially with Morgan in that state. I'm probably not going to be back until next Monday. At the best case. I, if Morgan wasn't in the hospital, I would. I know. I know. But, you, you know. But she is. And you can't leave her alone. And I'll come visit her. Hopefully she's out of the hospital by the time I get back. Just try to stay strong for Morgan, if nothing else. When I get back, we got the ashes, and I got the boat register on my name. We'll take his ashes out and let him loose in the sea with my mom's ashes that I got in my place right now. It'll be a small ceremony. You, me, maybe Samuelson will come with us. I don't know. Have to see if she even wants to. Uh, all right. Maybe I'll see if Captain Galan wants to come along as well. 
my dad had a lot of good thoughts about him in his diary. Oh, God, how is he going to take it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how anybody's going to take it. I mean, there's also the fact that I've been lying to him for the last month, and that he lied to all of them for years. It explains why he never been interested in his family, because he didn't want to lie. So he just pretended we didn't exist. Or didn't speak about us. Probably because it was too painful, but I don't know. I hope that's why, but I don't know. Maybe he was ashamed. I don't know. But I know the secret has to die with him. I can't keep up this. It's hard enough. I don't know if you've noticed every time somebody mentions my uncle, I hesitate and pause and I don't know what to say. Because I don't want to continue I, to lie. I, I, I'll admit it's been like that with me as well. But it's mostly because it's not my place to no. tell. No. My problem was, if he was alive, I didn't want to disperse his name. Now that he's dead, I really don't want to disperse his name, but at the same time, what does lying cut get us? Nothing. If I can't be honest, then what is there? I mean, we ask each other to put our lives on the line for each other. How can we do that when there's secrets in the department? And right now, there is a secret in the department. And it's not like nobody knows. You know, I know, Samuels knows, Laker knows, Montana knows, Ripley knows. We were going to have to tell Morgan at some point in time. So who do we not tell? Or do we just rip off the bandage and let everybody know? It, it's going to come out eventually, man. And I think it's better to come out with the news that he's dead. Yeah, and not later down the line through word of mouth. Yeah, and I'm going to probably write a letter to Captain McCullough to let him know and ask him to tell the line officers, but they couldn't keep on among themselves until I can get back. Oh wait, this is your place, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh. You need to talk, call me. I, I, I will. I may... I may. You probably stick should go to talk to that for... shrink again. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see if I can't get with Till, and I'm probably gonna be. I'm probably gonna be alone for the next couple of days. Yeah, understandable. Other than visiting Morgan, I'll probably be. If you want to tell Morgan, if you feel the time's right, tell her. I. I want to wait until she's out of the hospital. Okay. Or at least until we find out. That's fine. Laker, if you need to talk to somebody else, Laker knows. He knows he's he's dead. All right. Samuels will probably find out sooner or later. I left her a letter in her apartment. She gave me the key recently so that if I needed a crash in the city, I have, wouldn't have to drive home. So I left her a letter. I didn't want to leave, send her a text. I told her a text that I was taking a truck, but not why. Montana will probably know because I told Laker to go and tell Montana. So there are a couple of people you can lean on while I'm gone that know the truth. And I will try to let everybody know when I get back. But if you need to tell people, tell them. All right. Don't keep this bottled up. If you need to talk to somebody, if there's somebody you need to talk to, tell them. And I'll deal with the consequences of the lie later. But the lie's got to end with my dad. It can't go on. That much I do know. Right. Um, you, same thing for you. If you need to talk. I will. I'm hoping my parents will talk to me. Well, my aunt. And this is the hard part about the damn lie. I, I'm, I keep on going back to my parents. They're not my freaking parents. They're my aunt and uncle. Hey, hey.
eight. That'll be two. They hey, that was are less dark <laughs> your parents. They are no less your parents now. They raised you. They took care of you. They, I'm sure as hell, loved you. Yeah, but whether they didn't want to talk to me after the words I told them when I was last home, I don't know. We left it bad, real bad. And I don't, I don't know anything about your parents, man. But if I know anything about true family, that's not going to hold them back. I hope so. But that's why I'm planning to spend some time at home. I'm not even going to stay at a friend's house. I'm going to stay with them until we either kill the relationship and they don't want to ever talk to me again or that we're family again. No. Either, either way, way, there will be no come to way, that. Either way, I just want you to let you know and you can I I will consider you an F you, man. Thank you. And so I'll consider you anything. an uncle. You know what? I know it's too early to discuss it, but I think I know a name for the new, the company going forward. At least the parent company. Oh. What do you think of Robert Roth Incorporated? Make a name and a memorial to him. That company was like a second child to him. I, yeah, I agree. We can, we can bring we, it up at the board meeting. Yeah, but I, I, we're not going to take care of it now. I just figured I'd run that by you right now. Maybe it'll give us both something to think about. And, right. And it'll be a fitting memorial to him. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely would. And uh, keep his name going for hopefully eternity. eternity. Yep. Anyway, uh, you take care of yourself. Um, you too, Davis. I've I've already sent you the number of the pilot. Yep, I'll call He's, him as soon uh, as I get the uh, get the, the the bike unloaded, and I'll head to the airport. Hopefully, he's available at a short notice. All right. Actually, I'm yeah, gonna he, just call he, him real quick. He he said that uh, just just let him know about 15 minutes ahead of time. Oh, okay, can... it'll take me 15 minutes to get to the airport, so I'll call him as soon as I get home. All righty. What's his name again? His name's Philippe. Philippe. Okay. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, Davis. Take care. You too. <laughs>
Okay, folks, I'm gonna be ending it here. Roth is gonna be catching a flight out of town and going home to talk to his family. He's also gotta write a few quick letters before he leaves. Anyway, we're going to end it there. And I'll see if there's anybody to raid. Raid, I've got one. Raid. Mm -hmm.